Hey, how you doing? Pat here. My first ever recording with the new Climb Cryos Pro with the transition shield. This will be my turn to do an initial impressions review of this helmet. This is only the third time I've worn the helmet. First time with the transition shield. I am not new to the transitions technology back before my laser surgery. When I wore glasses, I used to have pretty much the same thing. It can be a godsend, it can be a curse all at the same time. And so far today on this lovely sunny day, it's been a godsend. After putting, oh, I don't know, 20, 25,000 miles on my Rye XD4, the first thing I noticed right away is how light this helmet is but I think we all know that going into this helmet the second big thing is how quiet this helmet is compared to the Arai but with that quality there's also a drawback of not near as much airflow as the Arai XD4 has what I found out when I was at Blackfoot Motorsports in Calgary Alberta Canada I was able to try these helmets on and for the first time I think ever I found out oh cool I am a size small in the Climb Cryos Pro I want to put something here on the screen because my head measurement is the top number I want to say it was 56 centimeters but don't quote me on that right now I'll fix it on the screen for a small probably put about 100 to 200 miles on this helmet so far and so far no regrets with buying the small over the medium the medium just felt a little too loose in the store and as we all know as helmets age and you wear them they all loosen up a little bit right now I feel like it's just a hair tight on the cheeks it is actually pushing my cheeks into my back teeth just a little bit I think that will be fine as this helmet ages. Time will tell. All right, let me lean back and give you a good shot of what the transition shield looks like right now. I am going directly into the sun. It is 9.44 a.m. August 26th, I believe. 71 degrees, so for Ohio this time of year, it's downright cold, <laughs> even though it's downright perfect. Riding along here at 40 mile an hour right now. Getting back up to 55. I've got the uh, visor open to the first detent. Yeah, I would say it's it's a, almost a finger's width open. I've seen a lot of other online reviewers complain it's too high. I don't know. I don't see a problem with it. But then again, that's why all of our opinions stink, right? How does it sound with the wind? Is it a whole lot louder with uh, the helmet open here with one detent? Or completely closed? I'm sure it'll be louder with it open, but I didn't feel like the visor was in my way to, to see. And I, that's some of the complaints other people had doing their reviews of this helmet. Okay, I think that's going to wrap it up for this quick... Uh, initial review video it's august of 2023 like i said earlier we'll see how i feel about it come the end of 2024 what's changed what i find i really like what i find i really don't like so far so good but then again initial impressions usually are on the positive side all right thanks for watching if you haven't please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below we'll catch you in the next video